OK, uh, now, uh, Blow for Coalition uh, says the FT, expensive mistake, fears shatter consensus on high speed two. Lord Mandelson uh, entering into the debate about this. Susie. I am so upset about the HS2 rail link, it's not possible to speak. Does it almost. go past your garden? It doesn't go past my garden. I'm probably not going to use it. My home isn't blighted by it. But what I'm furious about is the fact that this project hasn't even started yet. And they announced last week that it's, the price has gone up by £10 billion. Yeah. It's a 100-mile-odd rail link. It's costing £400 million five, five, a mile. It's gone up five and a half, isn't it? It's a... a Ten billion, some extra with some rolling stock, I think. But it's got up to about forty billion pounds oh, in total right. yep. cost. Yep. Um, and, but that's four hundred million pounds a mile. That's yeah. four hospitals or twenty schools for one mile of track. Unless you're building it out of diamonds, I don't know why it costs that much. Yeah. And are we really going to be getting four hundred million pounds back out of one mile of track? Well, it doesn't make any uh, sense. Put it into no, something but there, else. But there have been those um, th those cost uh, surveys, haven't there, about what it's going it's to do? It's really of... difficult to figure uh, out. And what whichever it's survey you take seems to come up with a different. It's it's really difficult. Uh, no other country's quite done it on this scale. So we've looked at a few other countries. Some seem to suggest that it helps the regions. Others suggest that it does exactly the opposite. Mm. It sucks uh, money into the, the main city. And, and there is a fear that it will do that in London. It will simply mean that more economic activity takes place in London. It is an extraordinarily expensive um, project. Uh, it's a great thing to invest in infrastructure, we should say, and rails badly need it. The question is, could you be investing in different parts of the rail network? Yeah. East Coast mainline badly needs uh, an upgrade. Could we be spending the money on that? Well, there are problems with that as well. To do so, we might have to shut Euston for a couple of years. There are problems with if all you, these schemes. If you put this money generally into the rail system, in renationalizing it because the only bit of the, na the rail system is actually works now is the one r line which has been nationalized we actually we might be improving the economy and doing all this anyway but the fact is the politicians want to have a nice sexy infrastructure scheme that they can take to have their picture taken on at the end of the day and go oh, look we did this well, they, it well doesn't yeah, but, mean anything but, but these politicians but do they want to oh, anymore well, they're, they're getting cold feet no. well, very anyway. interesting that Probably it's peter not, mandelson no. yeah. of all the people you'd expect peter mandelson's not the one i mean he's not a fan of nimbyism he no. is very pro business you know he likes these big investment projects and if even he's saying it that, that does mm. suggest the political yeah. let's, let's move on